Hello everybody, my name is Grealth, and welcome back to some more Gats Out of Hell. Today guys, we're going to be playing as Kinsey, King, Kinsey, no, King, oh my god, I can't see your name. Kinsey, Kinsey, Tin, or something like that. Oh my god, I can't see your name, it's ridiculous. Okay, so let's go. Get some more missions, guys. So, I'm going to collect the stomp power thing. Or oh, rally Shakespeare. Fine with me. I believe we have the okay. Whoop. Okay. So if you haven't seen the last episode, um, we basically uh, rallied up uh, uh, Blackbeard. That's basically what we did. Then we start some chaos at the end of the video. Let's see what these things can do. Damn. This guy is really needing to work. Lightning. Damn. Is there nothing you can't do? Okay then, go in. Shakespeare. What was that? William Shakespeare, humanity's greatest playwright, and hell's most diabolical purveyor of entertainment, looks on as a brave mortal on an Orphean quest enters. The bard's interest is piqued, and he looks to test his visitor's mettle. The masked tragedies were used to enemies cowering. They approached, but soon I don't want to waste my bullets on that. That gun looks really, really realize cool. that they faced a foe with courage and nobility. Traits, you know, let's take a god come through this in the fire. Damn, it's a tradition. Can teleport now too. Let's just use this. Damn. This gun, I don't really care about too much. Oh, I never used it. I know that that first machine gun that I used. I actually didn't shoot it yet. It's actually a really cool gun. I don't know the inciting incident resolved. The time had come for rising action. Okay. Damn. Where are these things? Yeah. Oh. Oh, there we go. Come on. The battle raged on below, and as bullets and blood flew, come on. The bard arched a curious eyebrow. Could this mortal be the exact oh. thing that Shakespeare needed? Oh, come on. All right. And now, Act Three. Whoa, that was a weird noise that you made. Am I hurting you whatsoever? I don't think I'm hurting you. Oh my god. Damn, this is how much shot. You die? Oh, now you are. You had a purple thing to get you, boy. Another one. Damn. Come on, get your head out, buddy. The conflict resolved. Shakespeare eagerly awaited meeting the champion that dispatched so many of his men. Undoubtedly, they were here for the Bard's aid. And while happy endings were not a thing found in hell, Shakespeare always had a soft spot for companies. The way King Kinsey holds her gun. In the land of the living, 
William Shakespeare is regarded as one of the most prolific playwrights of all time. However, to the denizens of hell, the bard is seen in a far different light. After selling his soul for fame and adoration, Shakespeare served in hell as Satan's spy master general. In doing his duty, Shakespeare would punish the souls he was investigating by forcing them to perform in grotesque passion plays for Satan's amusement. But in a Twelfth Night-esque twist, Shakespeare found himself living a double life. While he projected an image of cruelty, his heart was as soft as Jezebel's. In secret, he would tutor her on the classics and act out the works of his mortal days. When Satan found out, he cast Shakespeare out of the palace, believing that the poet would be tormented by the populace of hell, far out of Jezebel's sight. But Satan had not counted on the bard's cunning. Embracing his persona of master torturer, Shakespeare and his followers, the tragedies, took root in the entertainment district, biding their time for revenge. Okay, what I was about to say was that King Pudueshio holds that so big so Shakespeare back. called forth the Deus Ex Machina to bestow our protagonist with the arcane power of Force Storm. Power. Guys. Lights up! The mortal stands in the training grounds, eager to try out his new force stomp power on the group of demons in front of them. And the way she holds her gun is so badass. This one, scene two, in which our protagonist kills Whoa. more demons with force stomp. Act two, in which our protagonist wow, is greeted so by Just power Our protagonist learns that Force Stomp even works on flying enemies, enabling them to remove a dark insider's shield before shooting them to Ooh. death. With book, the day is won, Boom. and the curtain closes on our noble hero. Okay. Again, so that's your new power. Rally, add, pallet. Um, okay then, so... Um, then, let's start up some chaos like we did in the last video. I think we should... And you know, let's play just Kinsey. You know, let's beat the crap out of people. Give me a demon. Boom! Get out more so how do we use our stomping? No. Stomp car, go away. Come on! Oh damn, that takes so long to recharge. Did I punch that car at the way? If I did, that was pretty sick. Um, let's go. Stomp! That is so fun to do. Oh my. What did I just kick? Oh. oh yeah. So in the comments below, guys, please write down who. Please comment who I should play as next. A Ginzi or Gat. I really don't care. I just want to play as Ginzi for this video because I haven't yet. So. So basically, the way these episodes are going to work. A damn soul's orientation is, um, guide, chapter one. The Dam. Welcome to hell, O oh ye of questionable morality. Who you were on earth no longer matters. When you arrive here, everyone from the mightiest crime lord to the elderly gentleman who takes pen from bed begin the same way, as wretched ghouls wandering the streets. As a shadow of a man, you are stripped of your sin and condemned to a meaningless existence. Eternal play things for a demonic host who is all too eager to fly his train. Sorry, I was quiet because the deck I was talking. Start rampage. Ooh. One out of six vehicles are destroyed. Yes, yeah, so this is 
Well, let me get six and this off. If that can do it, so can I. Come on. I'll just fly out of here. Get yeah. another one. So we're not gonna rally him up yet because these episodes are really short, guys. So I kind of want to just do a little rampaging um, at the end of the video. We'll actually do a mission in the beginning and and rampage at the end. So we'll Man, actually do I'm that really rampage good at again people. since we put in start the rampage. Let's go, guys. Go. Oh. Hope Johnny was watching. Oh, I hope you guys are enjoying this row. Um, please. Don't Leave a like if you do. Also comment if you want to see more. Because I'm sure you guys want to. But I do love seeing this row. And that's why I'm playing. So I hope you guys... <clears throat> my voice I think cracked a little bit. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. So long. So I know. I am. Oh my god. I know. I really am. I really love this game so far. Yeah. Hey, that was funny. funny. Destroyed vehicle design. Screw rampaging, we're gonna do crap at people now. Oh, this guy wanna go? I just punched him right in the balls. Flipped you over. Yeah, get the feet and broke the arm. In the ho ho ho. There we go. <laughs> that was a funny move. Yeah, that's so guys, I end the episode here. Oh, jeez. It's over. Guys, I guys will end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you, if you liked it, please give me a like. And please, guys, go follow my Twitch. Because I do stream. Um, I say every weekend, but I haven't streamed this weekend at all. I totally forgot, and I was really busy and stuff. So I don't know. Um, I'll try to stream every weekend. I'll try. If I can't, I can. Guys, but whatever. So, and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now to join the Wolfpack guys. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys next season.